office. Yes, this is Gary Thompson calling. I sent, I sent an email a couple of days ago about a Board of Health issue. I made a deputation on the 28th of October. Yes. About item. I, I, I believe I recall your email. Yeah. So, is this Cynthia? It sounds like Cynthia's voice. No, it's not. It's Paula. Okay, Paula. Yeah, Cynthia heard my deputation. And I also made one on the 23rd of September. Yeah, it's about public health in all across different health districts are teaching the wrong instructions on how to save a life. And it's being published in the newspapers all the time to teaching if the person's in a coma, labored shallow breathing, blue colored skin, gurgling noises, to deny rescue breathing and give chest compressions and naloxone. Well, that's the worst possible thing because a lay person can't tell what's causing a breathing emergency. They're all the same. They all appear the same. Right? Yeah. And you're, yeah you had called here. I remember speaking to you about this. Yeah, I know. And nobody's yeah. done anything. I called up uh, Jennifer McKelvey's office yesterday. I sent them an email and I cc'd it to Gary Crawford, my counselor. Uh, Jennifer's staff says, well, no, Jennifer's not your counselor. I'll get Gary Crawford to look into it. I says, well, Gary Crawford doesn't sit on the Board of Health. And I've cc'd it to him. I've talked to my counselor's uh, office many times. Yeah. So you've gone the Board of Health already made a deputation oh. there. What has happened? Nothing. It's been going. I've been everywhere. I've been to the federal government, the provincial government. A thousand doctors went to the legislature when Kathleen Wynne was premier. And we, and we had a sit down with her in her office at Queen's Park and told her it's rescue breathing. Her reply was she'll get Hoskins to look into it. Hoskins didn't even reply. And it's making everyone physically and emotionally ill because every nurse knows it's wrong. And they're having to deal with it in the emergency department, EMS and fire department, and the police are showing up to calls all the time. But why don't these uh, people with... Uh, with um... Authority do anything. You'd think they'd be interested in saving their own lives. Well, Well, the doctors did. They went to, over to, in 2016. There was 234 doctors signed a letter and sent it to Kathleen Wynne, and it was cc'd to Hoskin. In 2017, there was 740 doctors signed a letter, and we actually went to the premier's office. You know what doctors are like? They won't tell on another doctor. They're like the police department. There's that thin blue line. Well, the doctors are even worse. Yeah, it's nonsense. And it's costing the taxpayer a fortune. And I've talked to everyone. I've got a video recording of um, Paul. He's staff of Christine Elliott, the Minister of Health. His family used to own a first aid and CPR training company. On tape, he admits that they're doing the worst possible thing. You know? Well, I knew it at five years old. When you come, in, I knew it at five. You know, a house plant knows you have to breathe or die. If it's a breathing emergency, that's what it is. It's a breathing emergency. Right? Yeah. And they're going to get sued. There's going to be a billion dollar class action suit. I know of parents that have committed suicide after they found out they killed their own children. I told public health that uh, years ago, I was the 20th person to take this training back in 2011, trying to stop it ever since. I told public health, somebody's going to kill their own child and come in here with a gun and start shooting all your staff. 
Think about it. And the judge is going to let them go because the judge is going to say, I would have done the same thing. You know that Danforth shooting that we had? Yeah. The brother is left in a permanent coma because nobody gave him any risky breathing. So we don't know if that set the brother off, right? Because he's dead. Shot himself after he shot a bunch of people. Anyway. Yeah. Well, everyone in, everyone knows. I, I'm at a lecture at the university. The professor says, oh, it's the dean of medicine. What do we owe the pleasure? She talks to him for a second. Dr. Whiteside comes up to me. You're Gary Thompson. Keep up the good fight. I says, Dr. Whiteside, you're the dean of medicine. Why don't you say something? She walks away with her head's covering her head. It's a monster, Gary. I says, Doctor, you don't throw your women and children to a monster and say nothing. You sounds utterly crazy. And uh, 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 what's his name? The chair, Joe Cressy. He was there at a press conference with, mayor, with the mayor and a medical officer of health and Joe Mahavik back in 2016 where Barbara Yaffe, the acting medical officer of health, says rescue breeding is the most important part. John Tory said the same thing. And then John Tory says, this is causing people to lose their lives quite literally. I'm at a conference with a bunch of doctors. John Tory is the keynote speaker. I get there half hour early. Every time I go to a conference with doctors, they start shaking. In pardons like the Red Sea pardon. Don't look at him, don't talk to him. That's the guy trying to save our lives. So John Tory's keynote speaker, 15 minutes before the conference starts, he walks in, he sits right down beside me, walks into the room, sits down beside me. He says, Gary, we're going to stop these people. You should have seen the doctor start shaking then. Holy smokes, he's talking to Tory. Tory walks in the room, is, you know. Every security guard down there has their first aid and knows what you're doing. Is they're all doing down there is crazy. Just crazy politicians. Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, I know. Nobody's. I get. Like no. it's. Yeah. I don't know. Somebody's. Nobody's got a brain cell that can stop it. When I took the training in two, September second, two thousand eleven. I says, wait a second, I'll stop this in a week. Right around the corner at, from the head office, 80 uh, Bond Street, is my GP. I went into the GP's office, and you, you talk to the nurse first. The nurse looks at it, and she says, holy smokes. So she's, the nurse is all freaking out. I went and showed it to my doctor. My doctor just shrugs her shoulder. I says, doctor, that Cognitive dissonance, you're living in denial. And so last time I went and seen that GP, she was my GP. Well, you know what, sir? You've uh, done the best that you can do, and if nobody wants to listen to you, and then... Yeah, kill them all. The medical officer of health is... Yeah. If you want to do anything about it, I don't know. What oh. more. Well, I know, it's the, high, the press. The press should be informed. The doctor, as soon as this came out, um, and if they should have had a talk with the people that are behind it, and if they didn't change their minds, they should have immediately went to the press. Immediately. Well, Diana Swain of the CBC, the lead investigative reporter of the CBC, phoned me up. We can't talk about that on the air. That's mass murder done by doctors. Put the information up on the CBC's Wet a uh, Facebook, and I'll give it a like right away, and she did. That's your lead investigative reporter, and we pay for the CP. That's our tax dollars. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I'm making a deputation on the twelfth about violence, because this is because this is violence in every form and way. Right. Yeah. Well, I'll let Cynthia know that you have called. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. She's right. actually not going to be at the next Board of Health meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, so, yeah. See, you, the, it's about violence and gun violence. Well, your children know it's wrong. And when the children lose trust in their parents, they run wild. Mm -hmm. 
That's what happens. Alrighty. You have a go, one, Paula. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. boy, boy. Bye bye. No crazy people. La 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 la. Let's kill everybody. You could be next. I don't know. It's, it's okay. <laughs> Torture me to that, or else wind up in a permanent comatose for the rest of your life. What's wrong with them? He's drooling. He's in a wheelchair. Oh, somebody forgot to get man. He just sits there and drools for the rest of his life. Oh, tasty. <laughs> Taxpayers got lots of money. He'll pay for that, too. <laughs>